Hey guys, good morning. I just got to work. I just wanted to share a quick little word with you guys. Um, you know, what did what did Paul mean when he said he dies daily in Corinthians? What did he mean? You know, I think it ties in directly with Ephesians, where it talks about putting out the new man, and that's just not a one-time thing. Like people go walk through life thinking that they're saved after they give their life to Jesus. Of course you are, but it comes to a matter of the flesh is gonna is gonna keep fighting to keep you. The devil is gonna keep trying to tempt you, to keep trying to keep you distant, keep you wedged from God at every chance he gets. And a lot of people, when they wake up in the morning, they kind of just go start their day and they don't give any time to spiritual things. They just kind of like, oh, I gotta, I gotta eat ready for work. I gotta eat breakfast. I gotta make breakfast in time, da 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 da. But um, in reality, whenever you start your day like that, you're setting yourself up for failure in a sense that um, it's going to be harder for you to get closer to God later in the day because you're already absorbing so much of the world. So like what I think it's a good habit for, for everybody and what I started doing myself is right when I wake up, I say, good morning, Lord. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Um, I just want to dedicate this day to you. I choose you today. I choose love. I choose to walk in the spirit. I choose spiritual things today. Lord, have your hand on me. Boom. That's all it takes. Five seconds. And then you just go about your day. And of course, you know, having kicked off your day like that, you're going to be close to the Lord already. He's going to be drawn near to you because you draw, you draw near to him already. So having said that, your prayer life is just going to is going to be bountiful. You're going to flourish in your prayer life, in your walk with Jesus, because you already started your day with him. So that just makes it easier in the long run to be like at work, something comes up. So your boss makes a sneer comment or something. You're not going to freak out. You're not going to be like, oh, mm, pride, ooh, pride. Ugh. No, you're actually going to be like, Jesus, I don't I don't know what his deal is, but I'm with you, so it don't even matter. I'm just going to get my work done. I'm going to worship you, and I'm going to keep trusting you, whatever you have in store for me. So um, I just wanted to bring an uplifting word to you guys this morning. Um, a lot of you have struggles with prayer life and staying connected with the spiritual walk, spiritual legs that God has given you. <laughs> When you accepted him as your Lord and Savior, Jesus is God, full, fully God bodily. So um, just start your day with him every morning. Just just give your day to him right away when you wake up. Just avoid the problems. You know, the devil's going to have a lot harder time trying to come against you whenever you choose God right away in the morning. So peace out. Have a good day.